So, let's talk about something a lot of people in the UK either have or have at least heard about. Those dodgy fire sticks that somehow unlock every movie, every football match, and every premium channel out there. But here's the thing nobody really talks about. They're not as invisible as people think. In fact, it's actually pretty easy for the police and other organizations to trace where these things are being used. That's why having a VPN is not just smart, it's essential. But before you buy a VPN, make sure you get the right one. Because there is a lot of really bad VPNs out there that overcharge like crazy and have really slow speeds and the worst part is that they are not even secure that's why i recommend you all to go to vpndiscount.org right now and pick one of the vpns from their list that they reviewed not only is it reviewed by vpn experts they also provide the best discount for you to use i used their site to get nordvpn and i was able to save 75 percent off which is absolutely massive savings so do not miss out go to vpndiscount.org now and secure yourself one of the best vpns in the world for super cheap they also have others like express vpn which is also really good as well but it's also really really simple to use the site. You just click the link, then buy the VPN and install it onto your PC, laptop, Mac, or even mobile device. There's no reason you shouldn't have a VPN in this day and age. Try it out and stay safe online, guys. All right, now let's get into how those magic fire sticks can actually be tracked right to your doorstep. Number one, server logs and IP tracing. Every single time your Fire Stick connects to something, like a live football match or a movie, it uses your IP address, and that IP is directly tied to your home internet account. Think of your IP like your digital postcode. It tells the network exactly where the stream is coming from. Now, when authorities seize or subpoena those illegal streaming servers, which happens a lot, they can access the server logs, including the time, date, and IP address of every single viewer who ever connected. All they have to do is hand that list to your internet provider, and boom, they've got your name, address, and account info. So yeah, it's not nearly as anonymous as people assume. Number 2. Payment Trails Here's another big one. Money. Most of these sellers aren't just giving away fire sticks for free. They take payments, PayPal, bank transfer, card, sometimes even crypto. Now, crypto like Monero can be tricky to trace, but most people don't use that. And anything that involves your name, email, or bank info can be tracked right back to you. Payment processors regularly flag suspicious transactions, especially if someone's sending out a ton of subscription charges for IPTV or TV boxes. Once that happens, enforcement teams can easily connect those payments to real people. Number three, device forensics. Whenever police raid one of these operations, they don't just grab the servers, they take everything. Phones, laptops, hard drives, and then forensic experts go through all of it. They can recover deleted files, clone drives, and pull up customer lists, chat logs, and payment records, even if someone thinks they've wiped the evidence. Spoiler, deleted files aren't really gone. So if a seller has a spreadsheet of customers, that's game over. Every name and address is there. Number four, social media and undercover buys. A lot of these sticks get sold openly on Facebook Marketplace, Telegram, and eBay. And that makes it super easy for investigators to find sellers. Groups like FACT, Federation Against Copyright Theft, literally go undercover, buy the fire stick, test it, and log all the details, including the chat history, payment trail, and shipping info. That's all the proof they need for a warrant. And honestly, a bunch of these sellers have already been sent to prison in the UK for it. Now, if you're just watching, you're unlikely to get arrested, but your data can still be traced. Number five, metadata and pattern matching. Here's something most people don't know. Every illegal stream carries a small digital marker. That metadata includes things like which server it came from, the encryption key, and other fingerprints that connect it back to the source. Analysts use that to link multiple illegal networks together, so they catch one seller and suddenly they've got access to a whole chain of connected servers and users. Number 6. Industry Collaboration and yeah, this isn't just the police doing it solo. Organizations like FACT, the rights holders, Sky, BT, Disney, etc., and ISPs all work together. The ISPs provide customer info, rights holders provide technical data, and police handle the enforcement. That's why we're now seeing warning letters being sent directly to households suspected of using illegal streams. And with how fast AI-based tracking is improving, it's only a matter of time before individual viewers start getting flagged more easily. So yeah. While these fire sticks might look harmless or under the radar, the truth is, they're far from invisible. Every connection leaves a trail, and it's getting easier and easier to follow. I'm not here to preach. I get it, streaming subscriptions are expensive. But if you're using one of these things, at least understand the risks. Anyway, thanks for watching.
If you found this breakdown useful, hit that subscribe button for more tech and privacy explainers. No lectures, just straight talk about what's really happening online. And before you go, quick reminder, check out vpndiscount.org to stay private and secure while browsing. It's super cheap, fast, and saves you a ton. No reason not to protect yourself in today's world. Stay safe, stay smart, and I'll see you in the next one.